Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crip crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on? Uh, so, today we got a little bit of like a part two of uh, me opening up that hot air station. So, yo, uh, it's another, what's in the flipping box? Uh, so, let's go ahead and dig in a hole. Because I have been absolutely waiting for this thing. Um, yes, I've taken out any kind of identifying marks of who I am and where I live off of this thing. Gotta be safe. Uh, so, <clears throat> we're gonna be doing a unboxing and uh, a little bit of a review. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's check this stuff out here. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and. Oops! I have my drink in the way. Okay, yeah, move that out of the way. So. We have a box inside of a box with a uh, possible Corona bubbles. I'm just saying, these are these are possible Corona bubbles. Maybe, don't know. Not popping. I'm gonna find out. And then inside of this, it's another box. It's like an Inception, right? You get a box inside of a box inside of a box. Get that out of the way. So. So this, guys, if you don't haven't seen it, this is the Hacko FM203. Mm. Uh, I have been wanting to get back into the uh, small electronic repair side for a little while now. It was it's always been like a little bit of a hobby of mine. Um, so being able to comp you know fix stuff on a component level, it's not really something that you see too many people doing these days um, but certainly something that I actually enjoy doing I don't know I'm one of those weird guys that likes to hunt down electrical issues <clears throat> so let's go ahead and continuing continuance on this so it's got a nice box that's for sure nice and strong <laughs> Easier if I have a flap that faces like this. Oh, it's got a double flap. So I mean, this thing's like origami opening up. All right, we got that uh, instruction manual. I don't typically read these things. Um, I think that these units right out of the box should be easy enough to figure out. Well, hopefully, that'll be the same thing on this. So got some origami style cardboard cutouts and we've got a a cable that's always nice what's this what's this what is this that I'm holding on to it's got some weight to it um, I think this is where you can put extra tips into. We'll find out that in just a moment here. Um, I have RCA jacks for the cable, and I think this is the rest of the, um, the soldering iron with a little rubber pad of some sort. And the hacko itself. Ooh. Man, this thing's got some weight to her. This thing's pretty heavy. 
Ooh. It's got that new electronic smell to it, that is for sure. Definitely smells like solder. <laughs> All right, so it's got uh, two different ports on here. One's labeled a D, the other one's labeled an S. Um, so this one's labeled D, this one's labeled S. Um, got some like weird little insert that needs to be in there. Um, on the back side of this, it's got what looks like to be RCA jacks. I think that has something to do with uh, the RCA cables that I see here. Um, little normal plug outlet on there. It doesn't say that it can run on 220. One time it is, right? Um, so. And then it looks like we got some more goodies underneath this little flap here. So I've got the power cable. Much, much needed, right? Right? right. Uh. And. Oh, so nice. Guys, if you've done any kind of soldering ever, 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 you will know that the sponge is absolutely useless if you ever get the sponge just just get rid of it because this is what you want to use and don't ask me how i know how to open this up i've never seen it so the this thing just kind of to let this uh basically like steel wool It's like a really dense steel wool ball. Uh, you just kind of pop it up into here. And you can use it, you're basically your stab, whenever you get your uh, soldering iron filled with solder, um, you can use this to kind of wick it off. So think of this as wicking material, uh, helps clean off your soldering tip. Right. Oh wow. So that little cable plugs into here and then also plugs into the Hacko base. And uh, this whole little thing is like a, a switch. I don't know how, I, how well I can. Aha, there we go. See how it's. So this is like a little on off switch. So um, I'm, I'm guessing when you put the soldering iron in here it'll turn it off and put it into standby mode and as soon as you take it off it starts to heat up again that's that's what I'm guessing at. and then that thing sits in there like this oh that that is just so nice oh I'm like super excited I'm just saying does it come with anything else for this kind of money Are you telling me, for the amount of money I just spent on all of this, because this thing was like $500, and it doesn't look like it comes with any soldering tips whatsoever. Now that's kind of cheap. I have to say that if it doesn't come with soldering tips, like, so you're supposed to sit there and spend an extra $30 for another soldering tip. Thank God I actually did buy one, but dude, that's kind of bogus. So, thankfully I bought a, an actual soldering tip. Which means I gotta buy some more soldering tips because there's a couple of tips that I was hoping to actually have in here. Urgh, rabble, rabble. So let's go ahead and start opening this up here. All right, so this must be that like coin slot that I see on here. So, that's gotta be in there like that. 
Thankfully, I know a little bit about this unit already, so this is not a big surprise. It's a little bit of a surprise that it doesn't come with a its own soldering tips, but thankfully, I did get a Hacko soldering tip. But like I was saying, I was hoping they actually. Um, it looked like they they it came the unit would come with at least a soldering tip on there. Um, I'll just have to get a few others. That's an unexpected rabble rabble. So it looks like I can plug this one in to here. And you can hear it kind of click. Alright. Let's see if the my microphone will pick it up. So I don't know if my microphone's picking it up, but it's got a little bit of a click to it. It's got a little release button on here, and it is tight to the feel on there. So whenever you got any of these uh, plug-in ports that have a lock, I've seen some of these where the lock were really janky on them. Um, this one actually seems to be pretty decent. So, And I'm pulling on it, and it's not coming back out. So nice, very, very nice. Um, what did I do with my, there it is. I'm like, I know I put it over here, buried it underneath my phone. Um, <clears throat> so thankfully I did get a tip with this and this little base is made to hold the tips. So if I got a whole nice little arrangement of them, <clears throat> gives you a nice little grip on here so that's nice so what you what do you I don't know if my if I was on camera doing that sometimes I forget where my camera's exactly positioned so this is basically how the tip comes okay now if you put this just into here it, the the grip portion will actually just fall back off um, it needs the soldering tip to actually pass in between the locks to kind of help spread them out. Um, but you don't need to put it in all the way. It looks like you put it in partially just to kind of get it all set. And then you can sit there and push it down the rest of the way. All right. <clears throat> and then there's that. And then I don't know what the little rubber thingy the thingy bob it will do I'm not sure I'll have to look up what this does I've and it comes with a like a little lock on there I don't know why uh, if this is like to drop down onto something and then you can solder on top of it I have no clue never seen that before <laughs> so yeah, it fits in there really nicely. It's so I don't have to be like all perfect about it. So that's actually really nice. And it's nice enough that I can stack this right on top of it. This way everything is like right in one little condensed little area. So if you're like myself, and I don't have a lot of room, stacking stuff is nice. And then whenever you get your solder uh, like all globbed up on the tip, you can be like, wipe it off. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm done. Um, 
So, <clears throat> now that I know what this is, this this is for. So this is the cable that I was talking about. Uh, one hooks into the Hakko um, FM203, and then the other one hooks into the base so that when you do this, it knows that you did this. Um, so. And it's actually a pretty thick gauge on here, so that's actually some quality cabling. And I guess in China, this is actually really high-end stuff here, so... Um, not that I'm agreeing with it 100%, so this is in D. And then this can get plugged in here like that. And since I know I'm going to be pretty much leaving it in line with each other. I'm gonna take the supplied twist tie. I'm gonna twist this back up so it's nice and organized. Bam, just like that. And now everything is as organized as can be. <clears throat> and we got our power cable on this. Go ahead and undo this and it's pretty pretty good length on there I mean I'm six a little over six feet and it's a full arm's length on the, the power cable so you get plenty of length on the power cable we're gonna find out if I'm gonna blow my uh, little power my little power bank or brick over there because I want to turn this on. It's got a little power button on the very back of this. Okay, now, stay off of that. Let's see this thing. Ooh. Oh! What's going on here? Oh my god, that was annoying. I have no idea what was going on here, but it it went into weird weird mode. I have no idea what happened there. But I'm going to find out why it was yelling at me and it was flashing us but D was lit, so it, it, it knew that something was up on here. Oh, th this is a, it's in the instruction manual, a heat resistant pad. So you can solder right on top of this and it should protect your surface. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what I need to be doing here. All right, so Okay, so it's displayed this way. S is off. Okay, cool. Also, why is it? 
Why are you doing all, all that funky stuff? This makes no sense. Okay. This makes no sense, okay. So if the temperature for S channel is display press D to change channel, okay. off right now. This makes no sense. If the temperature for the S channel is displayed, press up to change the channel. Off. This is like janky, really janky. It like gives me two tenths of a second to do this? Ah, oh, this is annoying. This is like kind of little on the they say this is like one of the best ones on the market oh my god this is actually a little rougher to try to even use I guess when I get this down I'm gonna be like oh yeah this is so easy Give me for the Hacko FM 2007. You got like different ones in here. Sir, page four. Okay, that's the initial.
Maybe that's it. Hey, there we go. I didn't have the iron tip all the way down. So it actually can detect that there was nothing there. And look at this thing, oh my god. It's at, man, that got up the temperature quick. Now I want to like solder something. Oh my god. Um, uh, do I have anything that I can like practice on here real quick? Hmm. Let me see here. Ah, oh, I got rid of those. I know where I want to do. So I've got a riser here. Ugh. Let's see if I can take off the... It should beep at me. Nope, it's uh, I guess it beeps only one time. All right, so I mean, it's making a little bit of a job of this. So let me, where is, there it is, solder wick. That lovely stuff I actually love to use. <laughs> and guys, if you've never used solder wick before, um, if you sit there and you take the heat away from it, more than likely, the solder that's in the wick will re-solder itself to the component you're trying to take off. So just to kind of remember to lay it down and then kind of use your iron to drag it around. Otherwise you're not going to be a very happy camper.
Definitely need a hot air station, uh, because it's like, it's soldered all the way through this little PCB. So I need to like heat up all the solder that's in the board to release the capacitor on the other side. But, nope, I'll need it for that because I need the hot air station to get this, uh, this component off. So guess what I'm gonna be taking apart with this whole new system. Now that I know how to operate this thing, and it's not so janky. It is kind of janky, but it's actually not bad for what it is. So, it can sense that you didn't put the tip in all the way. That's a bonus. Um, and then it can tell that, tell you whenever it's warmed up, all that good stuff. And then this is like the programming key. So if you pull this out, nobody will ever be able to mess with it so if you're working at like a factory or something you can preset this thing pull this out now the the person operating this cannot mess with anything it is what it is but oh, that's cool So, 750 seems to be the trick on there. You only need this if you're trying to program it, all that good stuff. So, a little, a little goof you had to find in there that it can, that the base was actually smart, um, which that's actually kind of nice. Tells you, hey, look, you need to look over here. Um, <clears throat> so, guys, you're gonna start seeing some videos of me doing some circuit board repair. So if you guys got stuff that has got obvious water damage or something like that on there and you'd like me to give it a shot, certainly uh, get a hold of me in Discord. Links are always in down below. And um, after I get reacclimated with uh, using the soldering iron, which that shouldn't be too hard. Um, it's gonna be more the hot air station that I've gotta sit there and kinda teach myself how to do and I will do live shows with me doing that. Uh, so guys, definitely stick around. If there's things that you'd like me to try to take apart, like the first thing I'm taking apart, it's one of these. So I wanna see how hard it is to take one of these apart, see if I can see any kind of obvious damage on this thing, because this one actually quit a long time ago. But these uh, blue bad boys, they're known for just giving up. They're like, oh, you turned me off and turned me back on, I quit. Don't ever do that again, I quit. No. And these things would just commit suicide. Um, it's some of the, I don't have any of the rest of them with me. But a lot of the newer ones, um, they'll have dual rows of capacitors on there for even power di load distribution on there. Uh, more capacitors also means that it's going to resist a little bit more of that uh, discharging effect because uh, that's just kind of what they what they do. Um, yeah, we're going to do a whole lot of like, cool electronic stuff. So guys, smash that Lizzie like button, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell notification if uh, YouTube has turned it off on you. And uh, guys, share this on your favorite social media. Uh, helps me get all that good outreach to all of you awesome people out there. Uh, and with that, I will definitely see you all on the next one. Oh.